for this. How's everybody? Today is Tuesday, rainy Tuesday. Sorry, I'm in the middle of playing uh, Candy Crunch. Like always. So it's kind of hard for me uh, to put the game down. Like always. As Annie always yelling at me because I'm a Candy Crunch fiend. <laughs> oh, game is over. Okay. So, uh -huh. what? Let me close this out. Okay. Check this. Good morning. All right. Think I could do this? <laughs> yeah. We had a long weekend. Oh, God. Almighty. Oh. Okay. Whose mug is this that sent me a message? <sighs> All right. <clears throat> I'm in a bit of pain today still. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, Gina. Gina. Gina from Florida. All right, you can play with that later. Miss you, too. Come on. Pony. Hey, leave it alone. It's uh, cold. What's the matter? You don't have a spell? So, what's going on today? Besides Not nothing. Hold on. My son was... I, can you do that later? Let you go. I have to text Gina McClure in Florida. Big deal. I love Gina. Okay, so... Young, sexy, hip happening chick. Back oh, really? then, yeah. Even now, even now, even now she hit forty, she's still <sighs> a, a hip happening chick. Okay, whatever. A chick. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, a Reverend <laughs> Rat. Genesis looks a little pissed. <laughs> oh, she don't look happy. No. Uh what? Seems our favorite person, Al Sharpton, was a rat. No, 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 no. Do me a favor. Don't be our favorite person. Is it his our no, favorite person? No, 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 person? no, 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 no. Now he's, he's your favorite no, person. Now he's really our favorite person. Yeah, okay. Because he was a rat. He wore a rat for the FBI versus the mob. Uh, is this guy for real? I guess so. Really? Is he for real? Come on. I'm going to go on to a regular page where I can... What... You're going to tell me some Italian guy actually, uh... Stop, I got something in my tooth. What? Actually trusted him? All right, can I ask why you're still I, texting I on the phone? I don't understand how... How, how are you a mobster and you, you're going to talk? Hi, Al, what do you need? I need some black kids killed. Is that what he does? Come on. And here was another waste this weekend. Team Jeter. Who gives a shit? Oh, I'm retiring from baseball. Hold on. Hit it. Good morning. Oh, Madhouse. Hello? Okay, hang up. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why they hang up, but they did. Well, who, whoever it was, I guess they should call back, but I right. don't know. But who cares that Jerry, Derek Jeter retired from baseball? Really, who cares? He was found to be a juice head, a liar, a cheater. 
He was the worst role model for any children. And yet we celebrate that he retired. Go away. Go, go. Shoo, shoo. Bye, bye. Take your Puerto Rican ass and pedal it down the street. What does Puerto Rican ass have to do with anything? Because that's what he is. So what? Oh, my God. Now I know Al is full of shit. Rodney was a wise guy. All right, listen. Oh, wait, we're done with Al Sharpton shit. I want to talk about something funny. I am talking about funny, something funny. How about <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield? Obviously. The lawsuit against the stripper being brought into an old age home. Oh, come on. Give me a break. This, this nursing home brought in strippers. It was on Channel 12. And, um, uh -huh. Guy's pretty hot, but uh, they brought in uh, strippers to a West Babylon nursing home, and they have a picture of an 85-year-old woman putting dollar bills in his Leave her underwear. Alone. So now her and her son are suing the nursing home. Why? For allowing the strippers to come into the nursing home. Shit, if I'm 85 years old and this dude's going to come in there, I'll put dollar bills in his drawer. Yeah, well, enjoy yourself. Yeah, leave it alone. What, what are you sitting there? What harm was done that you're suing the nursing home? None. I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. I, I need to sue freaking town of Brookhaven for those goddamn potholes, though. Wow. I'll tell you that much. What are you reading? Hello? Earth to Paul? No. Ah, you know, it's such a crock of bullshit. That uh, Rodney Dangerfield was a wise guy. Mm -hmm. Rodney Dangerfield was a wise so, guy. They're so stupid junk. How is this unbearable? This woman, Giza Tiza, he's got, she's got her hands down his drawers. That's what I'm talking about. So why is his, he's upset because his mother got it and he didn't? He didn't like the guy? Look at the guy. You know who he reminds me of? Don. <laughs> <laughs> My boy Don. Your boy Don? Well, Annie's boy Don. Yeah. Well, I, I got to rub up all on that. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well... After all that money, your freaking bike breaks down again. Yeah. So I got to ride with the hot one. Good. That, he actually looked the bald head, the big arms. Yeah, he's sitting there saying he's truck driving. He's doing no this. No pee pee. No pee pee. Yeah, it is. Look, it's Where? right there. See, it's right there. I Wait can a barely Hold see up. it, which means I'm hung better than he is. No, you're not. Listen, okay? Not being a wise ass. Don's sitting there saying how he's driving around doing trucks, right? right? It looks like him in that picture. Yeah, Don, what were you stripping on the side? You already uh -huh. doesn't know? Yep. Vile. Oh, shoot. They found a teenager. He was charged with a Coney Island fire. Yeah. Wow. You know, for a traditional Baptist lady, she's got a hand pretty far down his drawers. I don't know. I didn't look at that. Uh, but you saw his peepee, -pee, though, right? But you didn't see that. Mm, I wasn't looking at her hand. Well, her hand was right next to his machine. Maybe that's why you can't see it. So. Come on. This is, this is so stupid. You know, people go out to have a good time. They're 85 years old. Right. They can't get out of nursing home, so they bring a little strip club with Make the girl, the, make the ladies feel a little bit young. Have flirty, have. Fun That's why I said, guys. if I'm 85 years They're old. Not yeah, if I'm 85 years old and they be bring a stripper and I can see her, I'm happy. Yeah. You know, come on. On the on the other hand, uh, sad to say, Mickey Rooney died. Yeah, that was sad. Mickey Rooney, big loss. Yeah. Um, hope he's resting in peace. You know. He did a lot of great movies. A lot of great movies. He did. He was funny. But yeah, it is uh, crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So any more about your 
airplane thing? No, actually, no. They, they now they found two different sounds. One can be a locator, and one can be the the voice box from the from the cockpit and the uh, GS GPS. They don't know. I don't understand why everybody waited so long to get in this water to find these people. Well, they're saying rubbish is uh, floating up from the I ground. I really don't know anymore. All they know is somebody's lying about something. Yeah, well, there's something on that. Okay, and that's, you know. Well, your favorite person's pregnant. Who? Miley Cyrus. Oh, another waste. That's another way. Another They're saying way. that she's pregnant. So it's like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Boy, they got the strip all over the place. Yeah, well, let him make money at it. He is making money at it. Yeah, I'll let him have fun. He'll definitely get, since he's got this wide exposure now. Yeah, this makes me sick. Lady Gaga kissing the floor of the... Um, Oh, what what place was that? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, some music venue. I can't even think of it because she's got me so upset. Not the Beacon. Not. Well, oh, there was some old school place where everybody went and played. In, uh, the Roseland. Oh. She kissed. Yeah, it's it's closing. We yeah, don't... she kisses the floor of the Roseland. She. She performs there, and she acts like she was one of the big headliners at that place. Come on. She's such a loser, Lady Gaga. Lady gag me. You know, and then she, she calls people up on stage to pump her ass on them. Look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go get a lap dance from Lady Gaga. I'm only going to pay $100 a ticket. Woo-hoo. Yes. Yeah, okay. Lady. Really, this looks like they're making a big stink. Just you want to go buy some Met tickets? Yeah, you get one, get one free. Oh my God! Do you remember the last time we went to a Mets game? Yeah, I don't think there was. We a... got severely burnt. Yeah. And then we all went home and got sick. Because we were burnt. Uh, did we? Didn't we just come back from? Um, we were in the mezzanine. No, no. Didn't we just come back from um, Boston? The week before. Yeah. So we were all fried from that number one, which I like passed out on the side of the road, and then after that, me, you, Breeze, Lauren, Drew, and the kids went there. We were like stuck up there with no shade, so we were all dying again. Right. It was like what was it? Fried fried tomatoes. We look like. Yeah, it was terrible. It was disgusting. And it was we like went, watch the Mets lose one nothing. Yeah, like always. Come yeah. on, they couldn't. And, and uh, those guys with the with those guns shooting the the shirts. The t-shirts. They all went on the other side of the field. And they go it's right like, behind. Don't we count? No, they go right behind first base, and they go boof boof boof, and they shoot them into the the people that have the really good seats. Yeah. Uh, they weren't shooting up anything into the crowds. Wait. That's because you gave blood to get those tickets. And I should have got better count. I should have got better seats. That don't count. And then I gave blood to watch that thing. That was horrible. What a disaster. <laughs> There's another thing that aggravates me. Barbara Walters is retiring. Who cares? Really? Who cares that she's retiring? God bless you. What are you five hundred anyway, so who cares? How many more times are you going to interview Barbara Streisand? Is Streich, she actually Dan, retiring, or? or is she... Who? I said, is she actually retiring, or... Yeah, she... Babs, nabs, exit. Please. You guys are so disgusting. Uh, let's see. She was born in 1803, and uh, started her journalistic career in uh, 1918. And now she's retiring. She's 84 years old. You know, Babs, I have a strip club right down the street here in Deer Park that will... <laughs> Wait, what happened? We can take it to that, the, the, we can put her in that nursing home in Deer Park, and you get free strippers until you croak. That should be yeah, a lot Yeah, true. Of fun. You know, it's just really, it's just so stupid shit. 
What did Peter, Peter Townsend do today? Wow. This girl suing Planet Fitness. What for now? A 17-year-old girl was told to go home and change that her outfit was inappropriate. Okay, what was she wearing? Um, a tank top with a race back, a pair of black stretchies, and her bra thingy, her, her, her bra underneath. So what was offensive? I see what she's wearing, and it doesn't look offensive to me. What's that, Planet what? Planet Fitness. Isn't that the one that threw us out? No, that was Blink. That uh, was Blink. Which one's Planet Fitness? The one that I was going to sign up for today. Well, let me not insult them, so at least I can They're get saying the gym. that um, What's there, a her dress outfit code? is inappropriate for the gym and makes other customers uncomfortable. This is in Michigan. Wait, wait, wait. She went to her Michigan gym regularly to work out and stay in shape, but she claims that after recent controversy, she just saw this controversial decision by Planet Fitness. She canceled her membership. Wow. You know what? People work out. We're all different sizes. Stand, so that's fat, where I have a hard time with Don't matter. The gym. You're there to exercise. Who cares? No. Who cares? See, that's where I have a hard time with the really? gym. Who really cares? Because I'm a big woman. I understand. And when I go to the gym, I'm made, I'm made to feel uncomfortable. But there's nothing wrong with, by the with people being there. thick. You don't understand something. There's nothing wrong with having herd. There's nothing well, you wrong know what? being thick. That's your personal opinion on yourself. Until I'm able to... Well, and, and until you're able to lose 20 pounds, get then to you weight. go to the gym, well, no. it's not going to happen. No, 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 Until I'm able to get to uh, what they think is appropriate, then they look, fr they look down on you, which is BS. And it makes a woman feel uncomfortable my size to go to these gyms. No, you should. But when I actually found a gym that I was comfortable with, and I sent them a letter, and they still to this day have not answered that letter. They're not going to. I sent them an email because... Well, explain to them that my son was working at Blake. And they have a thing. Two pe Him and his friend were working at Blink. They were employees. Now, at Blink, you're allowed to bring a guest. So, Ant Vinny brought in Anthony. Oh. Well, somewhere along the line, the manager decided that... Um, Anthony had to pay. So, Anthony pay was like, okay, membership. cool. So, she approached him. She said, you have to pay the membership, whatever. He said, all right, no big deal. He went into the room to... the locker room to get changed and no, to, go he went to, to go get his money no he went into the locker room to get changed and to go to the bathroom Vinny and dean were in there with them she takes it upon herself to go into the men's locker room with two to with two male with two male employees yep. to confront them because he didn't run to the front gate to pay no but he had his money right he make, had his money yeah. in his hand and he said to her why are you in the men's room and she said she got reports of suspicious activity. And Anthony said... And then tells said, me that, and, oh, the three of them went in the stall together. Right. If my, you, my sons are 230 pounds each. Their friend Dean is over 260. They're not getting in the stall. Why are you in the men's locker room following two employees and a paying member? You decide... She did not want them there no more. Right. You decide that you don't want him there. Oh, and who went with you? Your personal trainer who quit, who was 300 pounds, didn't even, was in no shape to even be a personal trainer. You then take it upon yourself to kick me and Annie out. No, 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 hold on. Get that straight. No, you I went in there, us. hold on. I went in there to find out what was going on. And I sat there and I said to her, listen, I said, who gives you the right as a female to go into that bathroom. She says she has all the right in the world to go into that bathroom if she feels there's suspicious activity going on. It is a male bathroom. Right. You send other males in there. You do not go in there with them. Okay? I'm sorry to say it. You have no right going in there. And when I sat there and I started saying stuff to her, my son, okay, opened his mouth the wrong way and I slapped him. Okay, cursing and yelling. 
I do not approve of the disrespect, okay, if they right. yell or whatever. My fact was, okay, I'm coming to this gym because my boys work there and I felt comfortable there as a big woman. And you sit there and you just take it upon yourself to tell me you could do whatever the hell you want. So I sat there and I said, as long as she's there, I will not go to Planet Fitness. She tells them something totally different. No, blink, blink. Uh, excuse me, blink. She tells the head office totally different. Okay, and blackballs me from going back there. Both that of I sat blackballed there and my said whole family. that I refuse to ever go back there. No, I said I will not go there with her being the district manager there. That's but, what I said. But, because, hold on a minute, because when we spoke to Jim or the other girls, they're willing to allow us to come back and get our membership. She will not allow us to come back and get our membership. I was not disrespected to her, disrespectful to her. I did not speak wrong to her. I just sat there and said, I think you are wrong, and I will not come back to Blink with her there. Right. And I sat there and asked them for a number. Blink does not have a phone number for a head number to contact them. You have to contact them on Facebook, I mean not on Facebook, on the internet, I sent them an email address, uh, e email, and I explained to everything. I told them this is almost a year, okay? And I've tried to go back there six months after, and because of her saying that I refuse to ever come back to Blink, they, supposedly they will not let me. But I cannot contact anybody who's in charge because they don't have a phone number. Right, they do everything email. But they don't answer an email. But after I sent that letter, every time I turn around, all my, all in my emails, I keep getting coupons, I keep getting offers, this, that, and everything else. But they won't let me join again. Right, but they want to give you all these things for free. Right. Well, it shows so, you the quality of who was running that company. I don't know who's running that company. I don't know who's running that company at all. And all these other gyms are like unbelievable prices. Yep. Are you freaking kidding me? All I want to do is go walk on the treadmill. I want to go walk on the treadmill. That's it. And they won't let me. But such is life. You know what? I think I'm going to go there today. I'm going to find out what they say. I'm going to go there and I'm going to ask them to join today. And I'm going to see what they have to say to me. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. Uh... Want to go to a commercial? No. Well, you really should. It's 11 o'clock. Okay. So. Do I have to? Yeah, just please just go to a commercial. Oh, you're really annoying. You know I have to get up to do this. Oh. Ooh, I want to sit there and do that when I get back. Why do you want to put a tick on me? It's not a tick. I don't know what it is. That's a tick. Listen, don't look at my stuff. I That's want how to get a tick off your skin. Oh, forget you. Always boring. I'd rather just sit there with so much pain. Nobody even wants to call in and say hello today. Ridiculous. Come on. Hey, listen, I'm running slow. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York, and we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, 
She has improved tremendously and continues to pr improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. No, shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, you mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. And we're back. Uh, I wanted to talk about this before. This Pistorius guy in Africa. Ting Ting, he's got no legs. I'll tell you. 
he is really trying to make a fool out of the African judicial system. He, um... That's so rude. Oh, yeah. I listened to some of the mm -hmm. stuff he said. Did you? He asked this girl, put out the cat, bring in the dog, lock the front door, close the curtains, bring him a drink. He gave her a list of what she needed to do before she came to bed. She does the list and he shoots her. I think that's pretty friggin' lame. And then he wants to cry, oh, I never meant to hurt her. You shot the woman. You killed her. You knew she was the only one in the house besides you. Hey, I really, uh, really, I, I don't understand it. I really don't. It's, uh, you know, because he was an Olympic sprinter. That means it carries weight. But if you listen to him, he said it. Before you come to bed, could you please do the following things? Yes, I will, she said. She comes up to bed and he shoots her. And then claims a burglar. He thought there was a burglary in progress. Come on. Please, please, we're not ignorant. We're not that lame. Please, stop. Stop trying to make asses out of people. Go to jail. They should shoot you. Hmm. You okay now? Yeah, because they try, he try, tries to make an ass out. Well, she put out the cat. She put out the dog. I heard a noise. Boom, I shot through the door. Of course you heard a noise. She was outside. You just told her what to do. So she shut the front door. Boom. You heard the front door. Oh, my God, it's burglar. Boom. You shoot her. And then you claim. How much oh. drugs were you on? He's an asshole. He had to be on something. He's a stupid, Ann. And, and they're buying this. I'm moving to Africa. And I ain't. I am. Have fun. I'm make what, sure so you I think have... you, could shoot, you could shoot me? No, I'm going to make sure I have three or four people I don't like. Three or four? Yeah, and then... That's it? Uh, only three or four. <laughs> and I'll give them a couple of tasks, and they come up, boom! You throw out the garbage. Boom! Oh, I didn't know. I thought it was a raccoon. So I shot him. Right? And you tell the other boy, because you got to get my milk cotton. Oh. <clears throat> I heard the door. Boom! I thought it was a burglar. I shot him, too. You know? I could rack up 10 or 12 bodies. and never see a light of the day in jail. Can you stop eating... I hate when you eat peanuts. Hmm. What? I don't, I don't understand it. And they believe it. How do you believe that? I don't know. I don't, I really. That's within my horoscope. It's not always easy to get along with other people. And today, the Sun and Mars aspect will be some way or another a challenge to you to be more accepting. Don't forget, too, that from other people's points of view, you are often the one making too much noise. Oh, shut up, you try. Read mine. Eat one more peanut. You're a caveman. You are. You need to stop partying when you get up in the morning. That's what it says, not me. Wally, I'm going to hurt you. Labor, it's a good time to make gas investments. <laughs> well, I'm going <laughs> to... You're a dick. Uh, I can't read because I have to do stupid things off. Don't read to yourself. That's rude. <laughs> well, the creative endeavors are underway, are under excellent stars. So if there is some kind of artistic project you want to get started and on and don't want to wait any longer, remember, too, that there is no such thing as the perfect time. The present moment is all you will ever have.
Leave my nuts alone. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. <laughs> I'll leave your nuts alone. Yeah. I got another set. No, yeah, no, you don't. Well, you're a nut collector. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, it is, because you don't use any of them. How do you know? I know. Oh, you know? I live with you. So that doesn't mean I don't use any of them. My arm is itchy. You shower lately? Yeah, I do. I got to bring bringing the soap to my sister's house. She uses that body wash and garbage. Well, you know what? If you would have looked a little closer underneath the sink. Yeah. Uh, I have body wash. That's lever. You are so rude. What? You eat, you drink, you fart on air. I burp too. They don't need to, you know, you are so rude, so nasty. You know what I don't understand? A lot. No, come on. You're looking in the back pages of the New York Post. You know what's Sport. in the back page? You know what's back page? That's what you like. To, that's why you look. look in the back pages. Look. They have the sports, mm -hmm. sports, ready? Sports, mm -hmm. NASCAR, sports. In the middle of sports, erectile dysfunction. I guess they're speaking to you, huh? Shouldn't that be like in the medical section? I don't know. You know, I, I just don't understand it. You put a reptile and strippers in the sports section. And you like strippers. But Ian, it makes no sense that you would put. Does this world things. make sense? No, nothing does. Okay, so. I have such a headache. I mean, you know what? This clown. He kills two people and he smiles. You know what? You dragged me out of bed. I understand oh, excuse me. I'm in like massive, massive pain. But we had a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Had a great Sunday. We got together with Connecticut, Retribution, Triple Sixes. We did Everybody Memorial did Run for Manny and Big A. We uh, we never made it to the bike show I wanted to go no, to. No, we, we made it out to the pie place. I still got cookies. I mean, it's the pie place. I love their cookies. But Ian, the point was we were supposed to go there to Big A's spot and throw his... Lady J his forgot. Ass. Come on. you got to understand. She's going through a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Ian. Well, you know what? We still went there and to top it all off... And we froze our asses off to sit in the parking lot. To stop. I mean... Don't, let me let me tell you something. You were on a comfy bike. I was on a comfy bike too, but Connecticut man. Oh wait wait wait. They I, wait. Hold on. They break hard. I was not. Hold on. Me and Lauren were both on Connecticut bikes. Okay, and from Smith's Point to the house, Lauren's like her thighs were hurting, and I kept feeling bad because every time I turned around, I was like up John's Don's behind. But I guess Listen he didn't mind it. <laughs> but I I, I loved riding. But now my Listen thighs are killing me. me. I can't walk. What? Number one, I wasn't on a comfy bike. Yes, you were. And you were on Lauren's ride. And what? My feet didn't even fit on her pegs. Yes, they did. No, they did not. Do me a <laughs> favor. Don't tell me what I felt on that bike. That bike was so uncomfortable. It's made for a little person. Well, you had to. Re and then re I took Ron's to old bike. Oh my God! Which was another. I will never ride on that bike no, again. No, I will never get on either one of those bikes again. They were totally. That disastrous. bike was so slow, and I, Paulie, I've never. We have a. Seat. I made a turn. I ended Hold up on. in the left lane. My seat on our thing is this big, and I could still put my feet down, and I'm okay. I could not get on the bike. I could not get off the bike. I made a right-hand turn. I ended up in the left lane for and some reason. I have to feel comfortable to when I put my feet down, I can, like, find the ground. I was, like, this far off the freaking ground with my feet hanging. I was like, no. That bike was ridiculous. I tried to take a corner, and unless you're really laying the bike on its side. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. You were, like. I was actually wobbling. Yeah. Those stupid handlebars, they look like Pee Wee Herman handlebars. They're in the top of your thighs. Your feet are just underneath the handlebars. And you're like this. You, you, come on, Adam. I was, I was have so, control. so scared. 
You what? I was a nervous wreck. Look, Eva. <laughs> oh God. Oh. No, that 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 bike was definitely not built for me. I spent all that money on my bike, and I still. Why did that just pop up? Why don't you call Harley? Who? See if I can get a clutch cable. Okay. Did you get me the number to Harley? I will get it for you. You know, um, it's really, it, it's just very annoying that, uh, no, well, stop. Go down. Stop. You complain about this on my page. I don't complain about that on your page. Oh, you have sexual things on I your page. I don't complain about that on your page. And number one, I didn't put that there. I didn't say you did, but it's obvious someone's sending to you. No, you got you. shit with girls' tits hanging out. No, I don't. And everything all else. Wearing Nobody send that to me. They, they, sh when you sit there and you click like, it goes on all your friends' pages. Okay, women in bikinis. Do me a favor. What? Your page is really mad. Don't, t don't touch. Stop. I, I want a nut. I need, I need some peanuts. I need energy. You want a nut? Come on, I need energy here. food. Pull it here. I'm not buying you food afterwards. Because I, I need energy food. You know what? I'm, I'm very not getting tired. Food. I didn't go to You're bed. You're tired? I went to bed 1 o'clock this morning. Well, whose fault is that? I was already asleep when you came to bed. Were you? Yeah, I was. Were you? Yes. Are you <laughs> sure? You're <laughs> totally positive. Yeah, why? Does it turn out to catch and lie? That was I have your at. Duck Dynasty pillow. Um, no, 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 no. Don't even. I didn't talk to you. You my sat legs there. Are me. You were sleeping. Number one, I was sleeping, and you said to me, Where's my pillow? You woke me up, and you're like, Where's my pillow? M. I'm like, I got you. Like, my Duck Dynasty one? I'm like, Yeah. I was like, I'm comfortable with it. M. So I was, I was sleeping. I was already sleeping when you came in. Yeah. What? You informed me <laughs> that your legs were hurting. They've been hurting. Hold on. You informed me you had my duck dynasty. No, clothes. you asked me where it was. Then I said, I have me, it. Then you told me you would give it back to me. Did I? <laughs> then you told me to make sure I turned out the lights. No, I, I don't know. Okay. Now you gave me a list so you weren't sleeping. I was sleeping because I don't remember any of it. Yeah, Twilight sleep. Twilight Let sleep. me know. You come in, you're like, where's my other pillow? I'm like, I got it. My Duck Dynasty? You were like all upset that I had your Duck Dynasty pillow. I don't like nobody to sleep with it. Well, guess what? I don't like when you touch me when I'm sleeping, but uh, you do. And that doesn't go nowhere. It's about as exciting as my Duck Dynasty pillow. Your Duck so Dynasty doesn't, pillow. It doesn't go nowhere. <laughs> well, let me explain something, Mr. Cantone. I was in pain, I wasn't feeling good, and I was curled up with that pillow, and I was not letting it go. So, there's tobacco, is put in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah. What? Like the, the fact that Obama did a speech yesterday surrounded oh, only please. by black people, and not one American flag. Oh, here we go. Here we and go, here we go. And of course, the first recipients were from Virginia, and they were all black. Maryland. Maryland, and they were all black. Oh, Maine, no, Maine. Maryland. Was it, I thought it was Maine or Maryland, something like that. But they were all black. There wasn't one white student standing behind them. There wasn't one American flag, one soldier, nothing. Hun. There was, I think, some Spanish and some Asian. I saw the Asian kid. He had that face that looked like, ooh, ooh, ooh shit. And those squinty eyes with those big round glasses with that mo haircut. Oh, give me a break. Ridiculous. Listen, I'm going to tell you this from now on. All right? Whether you like it or not. What? When you're on this set, when you're sitting here with me, you're not going to have food. You're not going to have drink in front of you. Why? Because I think it's very disrespectful, and it's annoying. So when you do it. Will you see anything in front of me except oh, my computer? Oh, one day. What are you talking about? Yeah, please. 
How many times you got a cup of coffee over there? And don't I have. Bite me, okay? I can't get near you. I try to take a bite of your donut. You bite my arm. You because, Paulie, you want to know what? I have to lose. You got to lose. Stop with the, the soda and all that bullshit. That soda? It's fucking juice. Yeah. And you gulp. I'm juicing. You gulp. No, you ain't juicing. I'm juicing. You're I'm, buying juice that's not is juicing. Is that juice? That is, is that not juicing. juicing. It's grape That's sugar. Aid. It's grape, sugar. It's grape that is aid. sugar. Grape no, 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 no. That is sugar. You see? Stop. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Stop. <laughs> really, I'm not doing that. I'm just trying to finish my softy beverage here, my sweet beverage. <laughs> really, that's all I'm trying to do. I have one, no, I have one Can more we? sip. Come on. Yeah, no, Paulie, I swear <laughs> to God, you make a sound. I'm not I'm making gonna hurt any you. sounds. I'm connected to a microphone. Of course yeah. you're going to hear sounds. What are you doing? I'm enjoying the, 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 the flavor like a good wine. Like... Paul? You, gotta, you snip it. Paul? Swirl it. Then, Paul? Then you gotta do this. Paul? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Paul, it's gonna hurt now, you. Watch. Paul? You gotta, you gotta Paul? swirl it. Paul? Snip it. Alright, then watch, watch. You take a little bit in your mouth. Stop! That, I'm tasting Paul, my great thing. Deal with the 10 minutes. Get off the phone. Unbelievable. Deal with the 10 I'm minutes. I'm tasting my grape aid. Paul, get off the phone. Because I'm showing people the proper Paul. way to drink grape aid. What? You know what? They will. He don't know it. You applaud. But watch, watch what happens. Bye. See you later. Uh, I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. My name is Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. We a vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight 
thoracic and cervical musculature. And Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching doing it to help her with her pain. Vicky is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. If you find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000. Or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. So tired of garbage and nonsense and bullshit. It touches you know. life. And Tommy went out and bought this boom camera. Uh, oh, we can go over the top to the crowd. What crowd? We don't have a crowd. Not for you. For who? I don't know. We what don't have a it? live audience here. So why would you need it? What is your problem with it? I just don't understand shit anymore. I really don't. Listen, you know what? It's rainy, it's nasty, and everything yeah. else outside, and we're in the nice... We're not in the Bahamas. I wish we were, but we're not. But no. even this, we can't even put up the thing that says the Paul and Annie show. Are you going to sit here and complain the rest of the show? But I'm saying, we can't put oh nothing... Oh, my God, in... Paulie. Can you ever just sit there and stop complaining about something? No, I'm... I'm I could hang pictures. What is your issue? Where are you hanging the picture? In the middle of the ocean? How about talk to people and say goodbye? You, you can't hang a picture in the middle of the ocean. Oh, stop complaining. Stop complaining, yeah. Did you get me the number to Harley? No! Because you're complaining. Man, come on. Be realistic. Be realistic. This is, you know, I don't know. It does, uh, I, I, I don't know where it's going anymore. We, we, <sighs> I, I, occasionally, I like to let the people know that they're not staring at two idiots looking at a picture so they know who we are. <laughs> We're two idiots. You know, but I, I can't hang my, my uh, the Paul and Annie poster. Paulie, just... Do you want to not, don't worry about it right now? I'll take care of it? Yeah. Everything's don't worry Model about it. me. Famous last words, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh. So. Do you have anything else that you want to talk about? Not really. I want to go fix my bike. It broke again. Okay. All that money. And I got to pay out more. I got to get buy another clutch cable. Ridiculous. I, mean, I want one of those. It's like a cement thing. No, you blow it up. You put it outside for 24 hours. You find the spot. It's you like measure it's it out. It's made out of like weird kind of lead or something like that. It's concrete. It's yeah. dry concrete and it comes in a sack and you fill up the bag with water for 24 hours and it then you pull it. I saw it. Hold Watch on. Watch the video and then it... It becomes a garage, an instant shelter. Yeah, you know how much the thing must cost? Bet you it costs about a thousand, two thousand dollars. I wonder if anybody knows. I'm looking on the thing to see how much it costs. Because it's phenomenal. I, I saw the video and I watched this thing come out of a bag and it does bonk, bonk, it just unfolds itself. Yeah, you gotta fill it with water though. You gotta soak it with water. And then there's something in the water that activates the the thing to make it go. I don't know. I saw it once before, and it has a door already attached to it. Yeah, and, and the door goes, Pow! it pops up. It's really. Mm -hmm. Why won't it play it? I don't know. Wow. Forty k. Forty thousand dollars for that. No way. Somebody said $40,000. Why would you spend $40,000 on it? You can make one for 5000 
it's, I guess it's some sort of material. Cement. Listen to what the guy says. It's not loading. You know, it, it's an amazing thing to watch this thing rises up. It comes with a floor and everything. I know, but... That's the part, but not for 40K. That's... No. Yeah. Someone's definitely barking someone's ass because that's not... I heard it was more like six, seven thousand dollars, which would no. be more reasonable for ten thousand dollars. You could build a garage. You could build a garage for less than ten thousand. Yeah, well, and, I guess uh, it's the materials that it costs to make it. So that's freaking nuts. I mean, it would be nice, but it won't load it. So I don't know. But such is life. You know? Yep. But uh, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody for now. Yeah, the clock on the wall. And uh, I should be back tomorrow. Please Maybe. Tell everybody. I'm not in jail for killing Paulie. Everybody have a good day. Much love, honor, and respect Bye, to everybody. Guys. Tune in tomorrow. Maybe Paulie will be in a better mood. From the Annie and Paulie show, I want everybody to have a good time and try to enjoy the weather. It's supposed to be breaking this afternoon. It's supposed to get sunshine. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. It's nice tomorrow. I'm on the bike if I get it fixed today. Uh, if you're uh, any riders interested at the Cathedral Pines tonight, we're having the, uh, the abate meeting. Come on out and join us. Much love, honor, and respect. Paulie and Annie show. Have a good day. Bye-bye.